no! A mutant spider army is going to attack at night time! We have to build secure mountain houses to survive! My mountain house is gonna be the best! Come on, Louie. Let's go over to our mountain and build the best modern mountain house we can. I simply have to go over here and run the slash slash pace command. And there we go! Our mountain house is now ready to start building! Whoa, we have so much space! This is a modern mountain house, so it needs to be really cool. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get some quartz blocks, and we're gonna build a quartz balcony right here, so that we can come out of our mountain house and take a look of this area, so when the spies attack, we can see where they're coming from. Yeah, Jamesy, from here, we'll have an amazing view of, um, Gracie. Yep, and then we can add some of these quartz pillars right here to make sure that this balcony is nice and structurally secure. Are you guys copying me? Look at mine. I made a balcony too. Oh, Gracie, why are you using dirt? This looks ugly. I'm trying to be camouflaged so that the monsters can't find me. Okay, that's pretty smart. But, Louie, let's keep building. We can't worry about what Gracie's doing. We have to win. All right, Jamesy, but what other than a balcony can we build? We've got some crazy stuff going on here. I'll finish off those quartz pillars. We then need to start on the base. I think we should make an entrance to the bottom floor. So let's add in a wall. But to make it look good, I think we should use light gray concrete. Because Gracie is right, Louie. This will help us blend into the mountain so the spiders might not even see our house. Voila! The wall is now completed. But I think it's time now to add some windows. And for these windows, I think we should make them really fancy modern. <laughs> Windows. Wait, Jamesy, we're using long white windows? Can I use some red ones? No, Louie. White stained glass looks way more modern than red, don't you think? Oh, I guess so. All right, fine. I'll add some windows too. And then we need to add some wood because rich houses always have wood for some reason. They just make it look more modern, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you, Jamesy. But if we want to look rich, why don't we just put gold everywhere? I don't know, Louie. It's just how modern houses work. Work. The more wood, the fancier it looks. Do you want to add a pool as well? Maybe we should do that on the inside? Or do you think we should do that on the outside? Wait, are you guys copying me again? I just built a pool on my balcony! Oh my goodness, Casey, this pool looks amazing, but it's in dirt. Doesn't that make it very dirty? No, it's gonna be an infinity pool so I can look out to the ocean! I bet you next time we come here, this water is gonna be green. No, Jamesy, she's swimming in muddy water. She's gonna take a mud bath. Whatever, Louie. Let's work on the next part of our base. Over here, let's get some slabs and extend the balcony just a little bit further, okay? Perfect! Then we need to add some smaller support beams to so get those quartz pillars out again. All right, Jamesy, this is looking awesome! And then all we need to do is get some oak leaves and then place them around like this. And this will make it look super duper modern and awesome! Jamesy, can we place some of these like this going down this way? It'll look so cool! Wait a second, I have an idea. How about we turn this into an infinity pool too? Oh wait, infinity pool? Jamesy, what is an infinity pool? Is it just a pool that's like infinity big? Did you not know what an infinity pool is? It's basically a pool that has a view to the ocean, which is a bit ironic because we don't have a view to the ocean, but that's fine. Well, maybe if we drown Gracie's base, we'll be able to have a view of the ocean. Or we can just add a lake in front of our modern house. That will make it look so cool. You're always so full of ideas. Let's do it. All right, then we have to add in some water. So I'll put some slabs here so that it can't spill out. And then we put down all of our water. So like this, like that. Maybe you should place it in this corner too. Too, Jamesy, so it all works together. Yeah, in each corner. You do that corner, I'll do this corner. There we go, there we go. And boom, that should do just fine, I think. Nope, nope, it's not working. We have to do these ones as well. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go, we now have a pool. Nice! Uh, are you sure it's not going to leak through all these leaves? Yeah, I'm sure, but to make sure it's an infinity pool, we do have to get rid of these, though, and put some slabs. That way, we can have a really great view out over here. Jamesy, I feel like I'm going to fall out of this pool any second. But we're not done yet, Louie. I think it's time that we start working on the inside. After all, it is a house, right? Yeah, let's make this thing secure! To have a good house, we need an amazing doorway. How about we have a 4x4 four four door entrance? Wait, that's huge, Jamesy. Those spiders are going to be able to just walk straight in. 
that. Nope. We'll have two buttons. One right here and one right here. And these are going to open and close the doors. We're going to put a sign on the left here saying open. And we're going to put a sign on the right here saying close. And then all I need to do is give myself some command blocks. Put them in behind the buttons. And then we put this command in and boom. We press the button. All right, Jamesy. I'll give that a press and boom. That's the door. Jamesy, why did it close when I pressed the button that says open? I'll fix it. Don't worry. There we go. All right. Boom. And then the close button. Boom, boom. Amazing. Jamesy, I love how the door smells like burning leaves. Meanwhile. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, Daisy, look up! Oh, no, our house on fire! Louis, quickly put it out! Put it out! Put it out! Oh, who could have done this? Guys, what happened to your house? Oh, Gracie, don't act like that wasn't you. I bet it was. No, it definitely wasn't. Gracie, you're holding a flint and steel. It was obviously you. Uh, what? I didn't do anything. You guys are exaggerating. Oh, no, Louis, look at Gracie's water. Like I said, it's turned green. What? No, why did it turn green? I have to replace this. It's so terrible. It doesn't matter if you replace it, Gracie, because it's just going to turn back to muddy water again because of all this dirt. Okay, I'm going to change it. All right, Louie, let's get building. The spiders are going to attack us unless our house looks really good. All right, close this off right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change these buttons to oak buttons. Do you know why, Louie? Why are you huh? putting them to wood? I can barely see them. Exactly. Anyone who's trying to get into our base, they're going to need to know that these buttons are here because they're really invisible. Wait, that's actually kind of genius. Okay, up next is I'm going to get some quartz stairs and I'm going to line up right here so it's a nice and easy walk. And then I'll do the same over here for these ledges so that it's a really cool transition into our base. See? All right, Jamesy, come look at what I did over here. I added a little bit of quartz coming in like a pathway. Yes, perfect. Now we have to decide what the interior of our base, the floor, is going to be made out of. I don't know about you, but popular these days is wood. Yeah, Jamesy, I'm already working on a floor design. What do you think of that? Is there a way we can quickly do this and pattern on the entire floor? Well, Jamesy, we can use world edit commands, but don't tell Gracie it's cheating. All right, you do that, Louie, while I go and distract Gracie so that she doesn't come over here, okay? Okay. Wait, Gracie, did you turn your dirt house into wool? Yeah, but I also kept some of the dirt so that it looks like a cow pattern. Oh, you took inspiration from yourself for the pattern. That's really smart. Did you just call me a cow? No. All right, Gracie, are you going to start working on the interior yet? Oh, I sure will. I mean, there's literally coal on the walls. That's really Pretty dusty stuff. What, what do you mean? That's also modern. Crazy coal is what we used to use in the olden days. These days, we just use electricity. Well, fine. I'll get a power plant. Okay, well, good luck with that. I like your doors, though. They're pretty cool. They're glass doors. Psst, Jamesy! Jamesy, I did it! I did it! Yes, Louie, perfect. All right, time to make the second floor out of the same material. Come up here. Okie dokie. Let's do it. You do that. I'm actually going to change the roof, though, because I want the roof to be made out of a different material than to what the floor is made out of. Uh, yeah, I have to admit, it looks weird as a roof. I think for a roof, we should just use quartz like that. What do you think? Oh, yeah, that is definitely giving modern house vibes. And then we just have to decide what the walls are going to be made out of. And I think we should do the light gray concrete. Yeah, definitely. I started us off on the bottom here. It looks pretty good, right? Yeah, Louis, it looks really good. Should we ask Gracie what she thinks about our walls? Yeah, definitely. We should get Gracie's opinion. Gracie! I'm building a power plant right now so I can have electricity for my house. Are you sure that that's giving modern vibes? Well, I mean, it's not gonna be part of my house. It's just so that I can use the things to power my stuff. Alright, Gracie, what do you think of our roof in our house? I mean, our walls, sorry. The roof is good. It would look a lot better if there was more dirt here. More dirt? That's dumb. No, no, no. I'm talking about the stone and the light gray concrete. Does this look modern to you? Why are there splashes on the wall? It looks like someone threw up on here. Fine, I'll change it all to light gray concrete. She doesn't like it, Louie. It makes no sense. I mean, she builds things out of dirt. Why does she have a say? I don't know, but let's just change it all to light gray concrete. Wait, I actually kind of like it, Jamesy. Maybe I'm a modern person. And there we go. I think that's our walls completed. Jamesy, I like this at all, but there's so much space in here. We need to fill it. All right, Louie, we have to think of good things to add. What should we add? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not rich like you. I don't know what to add. So usually when you walk into a house, you have like an, a hallway area 
and then instantly you have the stairs to the next floor, just in case you want to go straight upstairs. So let's build a stairway to the next floor first. All right, I see what you're doing. Do you want me to do like a staircase like this, going off of it sideways as well? Can you do this on all the way up like that, and then delete it? Wait, I can try. There we go, use a debug stick like that, and boom! That makes our staircase look really good, Louis. I'm really liking that pattern we made. Yeah, me too, Jamesy, but what if we did something like this? Like adding some pillars next to the stairs. Yeah, that's a good idea, but how about you make it out of gray, I think? There's too much wood now. Okie dokie, I'll make it out of gray concrete like this. All right, I'm breaking these floors here. And how is Gracie even gonna compete with us? Our base is just so much better than hers. Guys, leave a comment down below whose base you think is better. Jamesy, have you seen Gracie's power plant? It just looks like a giant torch. Oh no, Louie, she's so silly. Sometimes I get a bit embarrassed. Yeah, rightfully so, Jamesy. But do you like this pattern for the staircase I'm making right now? Um, I don't know. It's, it's too, it feels too claustrophobic. I'm sorry. What? I mean, it does kind of look like a jail cell. Hey, I heard you guys talking about me. Just wait till you see the inside of my room. Um, okay, Gracie, we're waiting, but mm, I'm not very optimistic. What do you think of our amazing staircase? Oh, so boring. Come look at mine. Okay, I'm coming over. I've got tons of furniture in here, and look, I even got a walk-in closet. Do you need this much space? There's not even any closet in here. It's just an empty room. Why well, haven't put anything in there yet? Okay, why did you make it out of dirt, and why is there pink flowers everywhere? You guys obviously don't know interior design like me. I have to say, though, this mirror does make the room feel a lot bigger. Well, obviously. Look how big it is. But, Louis, we don't need that strategy because our house is humongous. Yeah, we don't need to make our house look like Gracie's. It looks like she pooped huh? all over her windows. What? All right, Louis, over here. The staircase is nearly done. What I think we need to do, though, is get some white stained glass and use that on the sides, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Let me help you out a little bit. And don't you think that just makes it feel so much more open? Oh. Kind of. I kind of like it. Oh, uh, there we go. Perfect. Makes it feel a lot more open as you're walking up the stairway. Okay, but what are we going to do after the staircase, Jamesy? We've done so much here already. Let's start working on the downstairs room. So I think we should do the right side first. But what do we add in here? Well, I would definitely want a living room. All right, let's build this right over here. We want this house to be fairly open plan, but we still want walls. So let's add in a light gray wall right here to separate this room and the next one, okay? Okie dokie. So let's add a TV right here. I could watch so many movies on this thing. It does look a little bit out of place right now. We need to add the edges to the TVs like this. There we go. All right, good stuff, Jamesy. I think I've got a good idea on something we could add. Look, you know those massive speakers that TVs have? Yeah, they're called subwoofers, Louie. Yeah, let's add some on the sides like this. Oh, that's genius. And now we just need to add the stand that this TV is on. We could just make it out of gray concrete like that. But now we need to add in the chairs. And obviously, I think we need to use orange sofas. What? Jamesy, I want to use red sofas. I like the color red. No, 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 no. How about we do two different rows of sofas? We can do some orange ones here, and then we can do some red ones behind it. Now, we do need to add a natural way for people to walk this direction. So let's add in some light gray concrete like this. There we go. Perfect. I think I'm going to make it go all the way to the TV. This looks crazy. I am removing these ones here, though, because there's another entrance to a different room here, so that would just feel weird if we cut that off. I actually think it looks pretty good. Yeah, this looks amazing. Is there anything else we could add to this living room to make it even better? Well, I have to admit, sometimes during the winter, it gets really cold. Maybe we should add a fireplace. Okay, but where would we add a fireplace? Right here in the middle? Um, uh, maybe. We could add a fire pit! Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's get some slabs, though. I think slabs always make them look better, so I'm gonna use these hollow and the slight slabs, I think. And you put the campfire right here, and then you put it around like that. Uh, Jamesy, I don't know about this. Maybe we could do, like, a load of campfires here, and then the slabs going all around it like this. But I'm just worried, Louie. This looks way too big. How about we make a separate room for this? Like a social area where you can have drinks? Yeah, that would be a better idea. 
maybe we should put it behind the living room? Maybe we put the upstairs on a separate balcony. Wait, what? All right, we'll come to that later on, Louis. Let's do the next room over here. I think this room over here needs to be a kitchen area. Oh, yeah. I cannot live without food. Literally. Okay, so what we'll do now is we're going to get some furnaces. And we'll put that all on the wall back here. This is going to be the smelting area right there. Perfect. And what else can we do? We're going to need some barrels for like a pantry, right? Yeah, but Jamesy, I got a good idea. While you do that, I'm going to build where the ovens are. Just like this. Okay, and then you also want to have a cabinet area, Louie. Oh, yeah. I'm going to build that next. Just you watch. Let me see. What could we use for the cabinets? What material would we be best? What about this, Louie? These are actually pretty good. Yep, these countertops actually have storage in them. So you can put in things like spices or flavoring, salt and pepper. Hey, Jamesy, what do you think of this? I'm going to trial this with you. What do you think of that cabinet? All right, Louie, we just need something else on this wall here. What else do you have in a kitchen apart from furnaces and ovens? Well, Jamesy, we do need fridges or freezer. So maybe we should make a freezer room. Oh, freezer room. Wait a second. We could add that behind the staircase right here. Wait, go. Good idea! Should I have, like, an iron door that separates the freezer? Yeah, iron door because it's a freezer. Duh. All right, let's do it. I'll do something like this, maybe. And then in this room, I'm going to replace the flooring with iron blocks because this room is like a freezer room. So it needs to be nice and insulated in here to keep all the cold in. Otherwise, that defeats the whole purpose. All right, Jamesy. And I'm going to help you out just a tiny bit. Let's make sure this looks just like a real freezer and put some fat fans in it. Oh, but could you use iron fans, Louis? They're going to blend in and look a lot, lot better, I think. Okay, let me just get those very quickly and let's put them in the roof. Yeah, those look a lot better. Perfect. Put some more in the middle, Louis, please. Uh, okay, Jamesy, I'll put them up here. Our walk-in freezer is done. Yeah, we are going to have food for years in case something goes wrong. This is kind of like a bucker. Knock, knock. Anyone here? Yep, yeah, hi. We're in the kitchen. In the kitchen? What is this? Is this a movie room? Yep, this is a living room movie room. Oh, this is nice, but where's the pink sofas here? Let me help you. This looks so much better. No! What? Oh, no, 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 no. This is me and Louie's house. Uh, whatever. Well, where's the kitchen? <gasps> That's a lot of furnaces. We're cooking up a few snacks in here. And do you want to see our cooler room in here? Ooh. Jamesy, you can't have to go in with you really quickly. Lock her in. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here. Fine, there you go. You can come out. All right, Gracie, can you show us your house now? Okay, come up here. Look, this is how my house is looking so far. I put a nice carpet, lots of books for me to read. I put the shelves in. Whoa, this place is kind of pretty, Louie. Jamesy, I don't think so. She has too many books. I want an iPad so I can watch Skibbity Toilet. Let me put the TVs up here, Louie, so you can watch Skibbity Toilet up there. Guys. You're so silly. I already have a gaming room. Wait, a gaming room? Where is it? I need to play some Roobox. You can go up here by going through the stairs down here to the side. Oh, wait. So you can't go from the living room to upstairs without having to go outside first? Oh, well, yeah. I know this is a crazy suggestion, but how about you put a door there? Yeah, but it will look bad. I don't know. I think it will look good. Fine. I'll put another door here. Perfect. All right. You're welcome for the advice. So up here is the staircase, and this is the gaming room. Obviously, you can watch TV, and then look, I have dual monitors. She has a gaming PC and a streaming PC at the same time. Anyway, what's this, Grace? A fire pit? Have you been listening to me and Louis' conversations? Because we were going to build one of these. Oh, uh, well, I built it first, so that means if you guys build it, you're copying me. Jamesy, she's totally stealing our ideas. All right, I've seen enough your base. Time to keep building, Louis. We still need to do a lot of work. The top floor hasn't even been started yet. Or do we still need to finish the bottom? All right, Louis. the next thing I definitely need in my house is a gymnasium and a farm room. So let's build the gymnasium right here, okay? Wait, Jamesy, what's a gymnasium? I've never heard that word in my life. It's a gym room. It's a gym room where you do exercising and stuff. Okay, I get you now. So let's put in the wall up we did earlier. Let's make it open place. 
plan. Really beautiful. Like this. Uh, that should be enough. Wait, how wide did we make this? Four. Okay, four. Perfect. Symmetrical. It has to be symmetrical. Otherwise, I will tear this house apart. So, do you want to do the gym in this room? Oh, yeah, Jamesy. I have a really good idea on how we can get this to work. Watch this. I'm watching you. All right, I'm going to build a treadmill now. Treadmill? You know how to build that? Yeah, of course I do. Okay, I'm watching. I'm watching. I want to see how you build this thing. I'm going to put a motor right here to power the treadmill. And all I have to do is put two of these and then connect them up. There you go. Now, if I go ahead and put these together, we can make a really cool looking treadmill. This is looking good, Louie, but let's make it a little bit wider so it's symmetrical. All right, let me go ahead and build a little bit on the other side too. I think I can make two wide ones, right? Oh, oh, oh you know what we need, Louie? In America, on the treadmills, they have TVs so that you don't get bored while running. A TV on a treadmill? You are going crazy, buddy. I swear. It's genius when you think about it. There we go. But wait, Jamesy, what if I want to get really swole? Well, this is just a treadmill. You're right. Look, I'm running on the treadmill. <laughs> So this is the treadmill. Great. So let's do some weight as well in this corner over here. All right, Jamesy, watch this, buddy. Let's put a big seat you can lie on like this. A seat? Louis, that's not exercise, buddy. This will exercise your arms. Watch this. Boom. What is this? Wait, is this a sitting down bench press? No, I'm thinking more laying down underneath it like this. Oh, so it's a bench press. Oh, God. So you lift that up and down. Perfect. All right, Louis, I have a good idea. We go over here. We put a little, a little cabinet area. Area, and we put some dumbbells in there for people to lift in this area. Wait, that's pretty good. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's good, right? And they can just stand in this area. But we need a way to mark it that this is where they should stand. So I think I'm going to get some carpets. This is the area where they do the dumbbells. See? The exercise will make you sweat a lot. We need a shower. A shower? Where would we build that, Louie? Maybe we could build it, like, in this corner. Like, just over here. It's just a small shower. It doesn't need much space. All right. You build up the walls. Let me try and find a shower really quick quickly. Uh, I think this'll do, right? There we go. There's some drains as well. Oh, there's some shower heads. Perfect, Louie. Yep, that is looking awesome, but Jamesy, I think we should probably have some curtains for privacy. Let me just put some of those on there. There we go, and can you close those curtains? Are you able to do that? You can, but it is very difficult. They're a bit weird. Yeah, you just right-click them, and then they open and close. See? Perfect. Awesome! All you'll be able to see is my legs. That's the gymnasium done. Time to make the farm, but you're noticing we need to get rid of these lines here because they are clearly not supposed to be here. But what we have is we'll have these lines going this way, right here, and then we'll have them going this way as well, leaving a gap there to turn it into the gymnasium. All right. And then this area here is where we can put some farmland. All right, Jamesy, this looks pretty cool. Do you want to add, like, a multi-story farm? Well, I don't know if we need that much materials, Louis. We're kind of living off the grid, but I think this should be enough just for me and you. So we're going to put down the farmland here, but to make sure this is all watered, what we need to do is get some slabs and then you just put them right here. So look, you just put a slab there like that and then you can waterlog it with water. So now there's water in the slab, but you can't even see it. Wait, what? I didn't know that was possible. I'm telling you, Louie, you have to listen to me, buddy. Do the same right there. It looks like a normal block, but it's actually water. We go over here. We do these slabs as well. And then we fill these with water as well. And there we go. And now no one even knows that there is, you know, water in this farm. All right, Jamesy, what kind of things are we going to grow here? If we have a gym, I want to grow carrots. Okay, you can grow carrots. I think we also need to grow some wheat, obviously. That's a, that's a staple. But wait, maybe we should get some chickens for protein. I think I'm also gonna do some beetroot as well. Okay, I'll do this side. You do that side. Okay. But we're also missing some torches in here. It's too dark, okay? Well, then maybe, Jamesy, we could use this kind of glowstone. What do you think of this? Mm, I don't think it fits our modern theme. But I'm just gonna add some torches right here. That should be enough, right? I think so. I'll put one here just in case. There we go. So I'm going to put some wheat right here going this way. And then in the back corner here, I'll also do some beach roots. All right, Louis, how's your farm coming along? Are you doing only carrots? Yeah, you made a mistake giving me the large area of farmland. I'm going to put carrots everywhere. Perfect, Louis. I think our farmland area is done. We'll just have to wait for this all to grow, okay? I'm loving this. It looks awesome. All right. I think it's now time to move to the upstairs of our base. Okie dokie. What kind of crazy things are we going to build up here? Um, I don't know. But before we decide, we should go and check out what Gracie's doing. Wait, her base is crazy. Wait, Gracie, you built a little staircase over here. So it all comes upstairs here so you can get up here easily. Exactly. It's going to be really easy now to reach it. And not to mention, I made another room, which you can reach through this hole down here. Huh? Which goes down to an even bigger. 
bigger room. Oh, so there's still two staircases you can go up over here on the outside, or you can do the inside. That's smart because if you have dirty shoes, you don't have to check through the whole house. Yeah, and now everything's gonna be super accessible. Gracie, it might be accessible, but is it secure? There's a huge hole in your base. Don't worry, I'm gonna put top of the line reinforcements to make sure nobody gets into this house. Pretty smart, but it won't be our secure door. Anything else that you've done in your base, Gracie, while we've been gone? Well, I added, come in here, you're gonna be so jealous. Nintendo Switches! This is crazy, but you're a great one. That's ugly. All right, Gracie, well, if you think this is cool, come and look at what the boys built. Huh? What have you guys done? It looks the same. Downstairs, dummy! Wait, a farm inside here? But why? It's gonna get no sunlight. That's fine. That's why we have these big modern windows to shine light in here. And also the torches. But it's gonna smell so bad. Ew, P.U. I can smell it from here. What is this thing over here, though? Inside, Gracie, it's a shower with privacy curtains so no one can see your face. But you guys can still see me! Hey! Yeah, but we can't see your face, so we don't know who it is. I'm definitely not showering here. Well, this is a boy's shower. We don't really care. And then over here is the bicep cool area. I don't need those. I can just do push-ups. Yep, that's also what this mat is for. Jamesy, look, I replaced the bench press so that Gracie can do them. Wait, can someone spot me? Can someone spot yeah, me? I'm spotting uh, Gracie. Try and lift it. Ah! I changed it so it was lighter. Oh my gosh. All right, that's the gymnasium. The farmland is growing nicely. Yeah, that's our bottom floor completely done now. Uh, see you later, Gracie. Bye. <laughs> what? You guys haven't done anything to the top floor. I've already created three different floors. Well, that's what we're doing the top floor now. What's the first floor we should do up here, Louie? Probably our bedrooms. Oh yeah, definitely bedrooms. Maybe you should build it on that side and I'll do this side. Yeah, I agree. I want to keep mine away from you. So, Louie, let's, uh, let's both build our own rooms and then have a look at what we did in a minute, okay? All right, he sounds like a good idea. But before you build your bedroom, we should build a little hallway in. So let's do right here. This is where the hallway is gonna go this way. All right, let me mirror it on the other side too to help you out. And then put the entrance to your room right here, okay? And I'll do mine right over here. All right, Jamesy, prepare to be flabbergasted when you walk into my bedroom. Okay, but just, uh, let me say, you can make your bedroom this big, okay? And then you have to put up the wall over here. That's not fair. That's so small. How is that small? I need more room. I'm a big boy. Shush, Louie. You don't need a big room. All right, guys. Enough chit chatter. Time to start building the walls of my bedroom. And also, let me try and follow the same scheme of work here, like the same colors in the walls and stuff. Whatever. But I'm going to add some red, whether you like it or not. Yeah, you can add some red. That's fine. Just make sure the walls and stuff all look uniform. Otherwise, our house is going to be ugly. And Gracie will make fun of us. And the spider will kill hey, us. Gracie's not going to make fun of us. Her house is made out of wool, whilst, uh, while ours is made out of concrete. No, I also realized, Louie, we need to add the roof as well to the room, so don't build anything too high. Wait, I have just the idea. Louie can't copy me here, so I'm gonna get myself a retina scanner. This is super duper cool, because then only me, and me only, can enter my bedroom. And then I need to get myself a reinforced door like this, and boom. Now, if I walk up to my doorway like this, it sees my face, and it opens up. But if Louie tries to do the same, it will be totally locked. All right, up next is I'm going to put some windows in my room so that I can see out, you know? I'm going to put a orange stained glass right here, going up the side like this. And I'll do another one right here, all the way up. And I've got my windows. That's looking really, really good, guys. Perfect. All right, it's time to now put in the walls as well. This has to be good. However, I am going to make a difference to make it Jamesy themed. There we go. Now this is my bedroom. I had to put a ton of gaming equipment in here because I love gaming. So I'm going to make this corner over here the gaming section. There we go. That looks so good. So there's one for like Gracie and there's one for me. Perfect. I think I need to get rid of these windows though because they look a little bit silly. So what I'll do is I will replace it with an, like a cool pattern. So let me get some orange wool and I'll put the orange in the middle like this. Perfect. There we go. Amazing. All right. That's the gaming section done. Now I need to do my bedroom section. Section. I'm obviously gonna put it in this corner here because that's just what feels right. So I've got these concrete gray slabs right here. And let me see. Do I want to make it this big? Yeah, I want to make my bed humongous. And then we get some 
orange beds like that, because orange is my favorite color. I hope you guys know that by now. And then we slap these down all like that. And then we also get some orange stools right here to put at the end of the beds. And these are comfy as well. And this is a little extra room that you can sit on and you can stand on. It's really good for sleepovers. There we go. And then I need to put some carpets in the middle as well, just to bring it all together. So let me just do a little carpet right here in a zigzaggy, zig zigzag zag pattern like this. Going up this way as well. Going this way as well. Every other block. There we go. Meanwhile. What are these? Uh, uh, red and orange. Did you guys make your own rooms? Yes, we made our bedrooms. Do you want to see them, Gracie? But I can't go in. Yep, my room is super duper secure. I knew that mine would be better, so everyone would want to go in there. So I put in a password system. Whoa. But it's so empty. All I see are some beds and... <gasps> Wait, what is this? Well, I made the most ultimate gaming system ever. So, um, over here is my friend's computer. So, if Louie wants to play with me or Gracie wants to play with me, you can play right here. And then I have my own computer over here. Um... Jamesy, is this supposed to be a speaker system? Like, what if you're playing over here? You'll just hear all the noise in your left ear. Well, obviously, when we're playing video games, we just use headphones. But when we're just chilling in my room, we can put some really cool music to blast out of these speakers. Wait, good idea. Yeah, I'm full of them. Gracie, don't you have my speakers at your house right now? Or did your cat eat them? No, 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 no. I definitely don't have them. Then, of course, we have a nice carpet over here and a giant, huge, comfortable bedroom. And there's Guess what, guys? There's room for sleepovers. Like, we can all have a separate bed. We can also sit at the end of the bed when we wake up and have some breakfast. It's amazing. Jamesy, this is a very eloquent room. I love it. Yeah, it's really simple in here. I'm not going to lie, guys. But to be honest, that's how I like my room. Clean and tidy. Let me out of here. There we go, guys. Come out, come out, come out. I thought I was going to be trapped in there forever. Phew. No, you weren't. All right, Louis, show us your room. Well, you guys are going to want to be trapped inside my room. Welcome in. Louis, why is there food over here in microwaves? Well, this is my personal kitchen where I make milk and cookies every day. What? Wait, that's kind of smart. Gracie, I bet you would love this. You're a food eater. Yeah, but Jamesy, there's no fridge. All the food is going to go bad and moldy. Yeah, and also, why is there just a back area over here? Was this the back rooms? Yeah, this is where you stand if you feel like it. Okay, brilliant. All right. Um. What about this water? Oh, my goodness. Yep, this is also my personal waterfall. But where is the fishes? Um, they all died. Wait, are you a console player? I don't see any keyboards or mouses here. Um, only sometimes. Ew. Ew. But why is there a pool in here? Because I love to swim. Isn't your pool gonna get all moldy and bacteriated? Jamesy, I know why. It's because he doesn't take a shower, so he needs to have a pool. Otherwise, he'll never clean himself. Yeah, it's how I compensate. Wait, is this your bedroom up here? Yep. This is where I sleep, Jamesy. I love to have nice claustrophobic sleeping spaces. What's the deal with these bookshelves? Are there some sort of hidden key? Because we both know you don't read. Oh, no. I, I just like having books to look smart when Sophie comes over. This room up here isn't symmetrical either, Louis. There's a random gap on this side again. And how do you even get to this room? What is this? This is what the bathrooms in the kitchen were for. You got the ladder into my gaming room. Another gaming room? Don't you have one over there? Yeah, I have three of them, actually. Wait, where's the other one? Uh, nowhere. That's two, Louis. You can't count. Oh, you guys are so disappointing. You guys have to come see my house, because my house is the best. Oh, Jamesy, it's probably trash. Why do you need a pool? There's a pool six feet away from yours over here, which is much nicer. I just like swimming. All right, Gracie. Anyway, I upgraded my house just a little bit, because you guys kept making fun of the white wall. Oh, yeah, the white... Wait, this house actually starting to look modern, Louis. I think we might be in trouble. Yeah, this is crazy, Jamesy. Why is house actually looking good. Why do I like the pink and white theme? This isn't very boyish of me. This is looking really good. And not to mention, you guys have to come down into my room below because this is the scariest room ever. And don't worry, I also use retinal scanners like you did so I could get in and out of my house without any problems. Oh, is this a security room, Gracie? Yes, this is a security room. And in the back, I have the most important thing ever. But there's a slight issue, Grace. Sure, if they come through this bottom door here, they have to get through these lasers, which they can't. But you could just skip all that security by just doing this shortcut here. Up the stairs, on the balcony, and then this way, and then down the stairs again. Well, then I guess I'll have to add some more lasers. Wait, Chrissy, these lasers, they're always on. How do you turn them off when you want to come into the house? It's a fake lever! 
That's insane! And then behind there, there's a wireless receiver? Yeah, exactly. You see? Don't break it. Be careful. That's genius, Gracie. You're so smart. I know I am, but I'm gonna turn it off for now since you guys are here, and uh, don't don't go in there. What's the password protected chest, Gracie? What's the password? Is it your birthday? Uh, nothing, 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 fine! One, two, three, four! Yes! One, two, three, four. What was inside there, Louis? Chuck it to me. It's a key! Alright, I'm gonna open this door. Beep! Wait, huh? Who is this? Is this a prisoner in her house? There's no way! Who even is this guy? No, you guys opened it up! I told you not to! What have you done? He's on the loose! Where is he going? Oh, I'm taking you back into your jail, sir! Jamesy, I think we need to save him! I'm taking him back with us! Gracie, are you gonna explain why you have a prisoner in your house? Well, I was just testing something out. That's all! You have to explain. We don't know what you're talking about. He's the one who tried to steal my Nintendo Switch all those years ago! I finally found him and I got my revenge! Alright, Louis, let him off the chain! Put him back in the cell! Alright, come on, buddy, get in there. Well, we'll just forget he was ever there. In fact, let's just cover up this wall once again. No one was ever here. Alright, Gracie, well, what else have you built? You did a little farm down there, you add some lasers. Did you add anything else? Well, besides just upgrading my house and making it look nicer and more pink, that's about it. Your roof still looks ugly. Come on, Louis, let's finish off our house! Come on! Alright, buddy, the rooms are now done, but we just need to add some final touches. For example, the garden out front of the houses needs to be done, and we need to add the final touches to the balcony. Yeah, maybe for the balcony, we should kind of take some inspiration from Gracie. She has those pink windows. Hmm, you're right, Louis. You add those. I'm gonna add a fire pit. Alright, Jamesy, sounds good. Let's do it. So let me get a campfire over here, and I'm gonna replace some of these leaves right here with slabs. Wait, actually, no, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do white stained glass right here, just across this line like that, and then I can put in the campfires like this. Perfect. And then what slabs could I do here to make it blend nice and well? Let me see. Hmm. I'm gonna do some of these like gravel slabs right- Wait, what just happened to the window, Louie? Oh, sorry, Jamesy. I've been working on the window on the front. Look at this! Do we need a window? Can't we just keep an open plan? It looks kind of cool from the front, though. Can you only put it on that side, though? We don't want it on this side. All right, fine. There we go. And that way, we have a nice area to sit down. What I'll do, though, is I'll add a nice little roof right here to the campfire area so that if the rain is coming, then it can't put out the fire. That does look pretty good, though, I have to admit. So we're going to fill this out right here this way. And this is going to be make our modern house look super duper awesome. Awesome. Jamesy, I think I kind of know what's making it look modern and what's not making it modern. We need a front lawn. Yeah, that's what I said, Louis. We have to add a front garden, remember? Yeah, do you want me to start on that? Yeah, you can start on the front garden while I finish off the fire pit area. This is looking good here, like this. You can be here and there's a beautiful fire pit area. I'll just add that like that. There we go. And yeah, okay, that's looking perfect. Thank you very much. Look at this path I just built going up towards the entrance. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little lake. So let me get myself some water like this. And then I'm going to just carve out a little circle here, which is where a little pond lakey thing will go. A few moments later. Guys, guys, I know the monsters are going to come here soon, but you guys have to check out what I just built inside my house. Wait. There's a cat and dog here. What, what are they doing? Well, when I get sad and lonely, because, you know, all of you guys are going to die from the monster since only my house is secure, I'm going to have a nice little cat cafe inside. A cat cafe? Why do you need a cat cafe? Wait, this dog's in here too. Yeah, this is going to be the coolest animal cafe ever. And I can just sit here and eat my afternoon tea with all of my best friends. Yeah, but it's going to stink of dogs in here. Jamesy, if only those dogs knew there was a prisoner in the walls. That's what I was thinking, Louis. Do you think they're going to hear his cries. Well, don't worry. This is gonna be the most relaxing place where I can hear the person who stole my Nintendo Switch cry all the time. Awesome! Alright, Gracie, do you wanna see our garden? We're nearly done with it. Garden? Let's see. It looks cool, right? This pond isn't even taken care of. It just looks weird. What's wrong with the pond? Gracie, that's just cause Jamesy built it. I don't know. This just doesn't look like a rich person's pond. It's beautiful! 
Well, I'm about to go and create my armory, and it's gonna be super duper well defended. All right, Gracie, whatever. Now we have to add some flowers, okay? So I'm gonna put some orange tulips around the pond. They'll make it look way better. All right, Jay-Z, could I just bone meal everything like this? Yeah, that works too. There we go. All right, Louie, we do have to copy Gracie now. We have to go and build an armory too, okay? All right, sounds good. What kind of crazy armor are we going to use? Well, first, we need to decide where we're gonna hide it, and I think I have a perfect idea. All right, Jay-Z, where do we hide things? that we want to keep safe. We should hide it in the kitchen behind this wall. How are we going to hide it back here? Well, first, we need to do a combination code. Yeah, it's going to be some complicated redstone, so it's going to take us a few minutes, but I think we can figure it out. We're going to do four buttons right here like that. And now we have to do some complicated redstone, okay, to hook them all up. So let me see. This might be a little bit tricky, Louis, but trust me, I have an idea. All we need to do is do some redstone, okay? Okay. While you do that, I'm going to make this room a little bit bigger. So for the redstone here, guys, this is going to be a little bit tricky. But we're going to do this, and then each one is going to push out a piston, and that will activate the code. And then we'll do this, and then for the code, it'll be a redstone torch right here like that, with some redstone coming this way. And then we just do some stone going this way. And I know this is a little bit complicated, but when I show you how it works, you'll be super duper amazed. So this will turn on this, and then you're going to repeat her right here. And then you repeat all these here with some delay like that. And then if it gets all the way over here, it will activate a command block, which will be tidily in this wall right here. So I'm going to get a command now, which will replace that wall with air. Perfect. There we go. Now we just have to see if this is all going to work. So let's give this a test. All I have to do is press this button, that button, that button, and that, that button in that order. Ready? Boink, 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 boink. And the door opens. Oh, but not for very long. I'm going to have to extend that. Louis, it's working. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. Don't break those blocks. All right. All right. Let me see. See if you can get in the door. Try combination. Okay. Uh, this one and this one? No. Try a different combination. Maybe this one, this one, and this one. No. If you press this one, though, the door opens. All right. Well, you're kind of crazy. Yep. Yep. Let me see the armory, Louis. Wait, is this the armory? Yep. This is what I've been working on this whole time. Do you like these big spinning wheels? Awesome. This Lava in the walls and everything. Look, I can have it go over the top. Whoa! We need to fill this room with actually good loot, Louis. So let's put some armor in here. I'm gonna get myself some dragon steel armor. What are you gonna give yourself, Louis? Well, I'm just gonna give myself this really huh? silly suit. I think this looks pretty good. Now for a weapon, what should I do? I might give myself. Hmm. What should I give myself for a weapon? Let me see. How about this true dirt scalibur? I'll put that in there as my weapon. And then I want to give myself some ender poles like that. And then I'm going to give myself some golden apples too. And this is a cool place to have all my loot and gear where no one will be able to stop us. Jamesy, you are going to cry when you see my weapon. Oh, potato cannon. Oh my goodness, Louie. Why are you always so stupid? Guys, it's nighttime. The spiders are going to be here any second. Wait, how did you find our secret armor? Armory. It wasn't that secret. But what do you think of it, Gracie? Doesn't it look super duper cool? Yeah, what is that thing at the top? All right, Louie, quickly. The spies are going to be here, so let's get our armor on, okay? I'm sorry, but you're going to love my armor. I don't know what just happened to me. What do you do? What does he mean? I don't know, but it gave me, like, a lot of strength. That's insane, Louie. Anyway, um, let's just go follow Gracie. Gracie, to your armory, quick. Is it going to close in time? Oh, no, the spies are going to be here, guys. Look, it's nighttime. Gracie, you need to get your armor from your armory. Go. Come on, everyone, go. Go inside, go inside! Be careful though, the laser's still activated. Turn them off. Don't worry, I'm turning them off. And then we could go in here. This is my armory, this way! Look how many swords I have in here! Oh my goodness, this is amazing! All right, guys, do we think we're ready to defeat this spider? Yes, I do. Take a god apple. I have one for each of us. All right, I've got one. Thanks, Gracie. All right, guys, let's go outside and destroy these spiders. Oh my goodness, they're humongous! Yes! Ah, I'm scared. I don't even want to go outside. Get him, get him, get him. Have some dirt, buddy. Oh, my goodness. It has feet at the bottom. It looks so weird and ugly. Oh, my goodness. He's strong, guys. He's strong. Uh, Help. Get them away from me. Louis, run, run, run. Have you got any enderpearls? Louis, have you got enderpearls, buddy? Yeah, Jamesy, I do, but I almost died. I've got a machine gun. I'm going to machine them to death. Be 
careful, Gracie. They're really strong. They are not getting in. This one's all the way over here. Bring him back, Gracie. Bring him back. Where's he gone? Wait, I killed him. Oh, he's so low. Come on. Yes. We killed him. I guess our modern secure houses were good enough. You know what? I think I'm gonna move in here. Really? Me too. All right. Good night, guys. I see you guys in the morning. If you enjoyed this video, then watch the next on your screen. Goodbye. Bye.